here we have a new 7260 series shaft and Jason McLean. So one of his customers, uh, it's a 71 Challenger 444 speed car. So like I said, it's 7260 series both ends. I had done an inspection video of this. It's a few back, it's probably like number 200 or 99 or 98 somewhere. And I also did an axle for this, uh, a center section differential yeah like number 205 or 203 so anyways about the drive shaft it's 7260 series both ends spicer snap tights it's 3 inch 083 tubing it's 46 and a quarter center center and i re-ran the slip yoke uh the, that was with it this this drive shaft was one that was dinged and it had a sock cut in Trying to remember the situation. Oh, it had been shortened, and it was it was kind of screwed up. And this slip yoke, the ends of it were compressed pretty good, so I put the my spreader in there and got them things corrected. And I'm happy with the outcome. That uh, it's I am apprehensive to say perfect. I I'm fussy, but uh, this thing's pretty damn good. So and and to be fair. The drivability with the Spicer Snap Tights, especially in 7260, across the board, but in, they made the biggest difference in my career of building drive shafts. 7260 series and 7290s were virtually unmanageable with the old greasable style U-joints. If you wanted to really tune them up, that three to five thousandths, eight thousandths end play in the old junky greasable U-joints manifested itself so badly in, in these style internal clips that I hated them. And now they're actually damn good with the snap tights and, and good yokes. Uh, so yeah, we'll crank that up. That's 3,000 RPM. Dead flat zero at the rear axle. Absolutely smooth. Zero at the trans, uh, yeah, trans in case, transmission. So, um, gonna call us a home run for Jason and get that and the differential back to him.